Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Machine at Tech Help Show, and in today's video we're going to talk about high definition. Now high definition is kind of a hot topic when you're talking about technology these days, and uh, a lot of people are kind of kind of confused about the technologies that are out there for high definition. So in particular, I'm going to talk about today uh, whether or not it's a good idea to switch to 720p or 1080p, and what's the difference, really. Um, <clears throat> it, of course, depends on what you're going to use it for. Uh, I know that's kind of my cliche answer for everything, but what category do you fit in is the question I'm hopefully going to answer for you today. Now, 720p and 1080p, hang on one second, 720p and 1080p are basically their resolutions. Now, for those of you who don't know what, a, what resolution is, the original televisions that you look at, uh, the original picture was 640 by 480. Now, what that means is it's 640 little colored dots by 480 little colored dots. When you assemble all those colored dots together, you get an image. Think of it in the sense of, uh, you know, like artists like Monet. Uh, how they do, their, it's called impressionism. They make a whole bunch of little dots and eventually the little dots create a image. That's pretty much how images work. Now, if you are thinking of it in the sense of paintings, then the more little dots you have, the better the painting is going to look. It's going to be what you call higher resolution, right? Because you have more little dots in a smaller area. That's the concept between be behind high definition and higher resolution pictures. It's also the same concept, concept that uh, cameras run on, the 8 megapixel. Uh, they all run at higher resolutions. Now, high definition 720p is 1320, no, 1280 by 720, which means it's 1280 little dots wide by 720 dots tall. That's why you get a widescreen format on uh, 720p. 1080p is 1920 by 1080, which means 1,920 dots by 1,080 dots. So you can picture in your head how much larger you're getting, how much more picture quality you're getting in a smaller area. If your TV is only 16 inches wide, okay, then you say, okay, well, I'm going to put a 640 by 480 image on a 13-inch TV. So you're squeezing a, a relatively large amount of dots or a small amount of dots into a big viewing area. Then you move up from 640 by 480 to all of a sudden 1280 by 720. That's a huge leap, almost double across the board, especially width-wise. So you're instantly jumping up to double resolution. So your quality is going to double if you move from your standard resolution to 720p. And then if you go up to 1080p, you're going to 1920 by 1080. So you're jumping even higher. I mean, 1280 to 1920, that's a huge leap. That's almost a whole other standard television resolution leap. So when you look at a television that says it's high definition, make sure you make note of the resolution types that are out there. You have 720p and 1080p. Now, there's 1020, there's 720i and 1080i. Don't go for anything that's in the eyes. Right now, that's an obsolete technology. P, which is progressive, has actually replaced those. So when we're talking about televisions, whether you should buy a screen, whether it's a computer monitor or a television, you want to make sure it supports those resolutions unless you are not a hardcore enthusiast on picture quality. <clears throat> but I'd hate for you to go out and buy a 720p high definition television only to find out that two to four years from now everything's going to be broadcast in 1080p. Yes, it'll still support it, so you can still play 1080p resolution pictures in a 720p image, but it downgrades the quality to 720p. So don't go out and spend $600 on a 720p when you could have spent the extra 150 on a 1080 that being said, right now, the majority of television is actually broadcasted in 720p. Uh, when you're looking at major sports events and things like that, that's 720, not 1080. 1080p, you're going to get on televisions, you're actually going to get that resolution really out of Blu-ray only, for the most part. I mean, Netflix and things like that are adopting 1080p now, but to be honest with you, the compression behind Netflix, 1080p doesn't really look like 1080p in my personal opinion. When you've put in a Blu-ray and you've watched a Blu-ray in 1080p and then you're watching Netflix in 1080p, it's like night and day, all right? So you're not going to get true 1080p out of, a, out of a streaming video service yet until they perfect the, the uh, resolutions and the compression types. So the real question that we're going to answer today in this video is 
What resolution is best for you? Well, it depends on what you like to do. If you are a gamer and you're looking to buying a computer monitor, always buy 1080p. It's not an unrealistic resolution to come with all monitor standard. Now remember, that's 1920 by 1080. Your games and things like that will always support 1080p. If you are a guy who will never watch a video on your computer, never watch a Blu-ray on your computer because you don't have a Blu-ray player, or never play games in higher resolution, then you don't even care if it comes in 1080p. But most standard monitors should at least support 720. I mean, when you're going out buying a monitor now, if it doesn't support 720, there's something seriously wrong. Now, there's other things that come into play when you're talking about resolution types on computers as well. Your graphics card has to support the higher resolution as well. So if you just buy a 1080p monitor, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be able to play 1080p video. So you're going to want to consider that. For televisions, I recommend a minimum of 720, but I'm old-fashioned. I like to buy old technology. I like technology that's already been bought and tested. For example, I just bought a 720p iPad. No, I'm sorry, an iPad 2, because I don't like to buy the latest and greatest. So I got $100 off the traditional price, and it went really well. So... Decide what you want and go out there and get it. That's the difference between 1080 and 720p. Uh, spend the extra 100 bucks if you have to on televisions, uh, but uh, you know for the most part, 1080p is the way to go. So thanks for stopping by. As always, leave comments and ratings. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and like this video if you liked it. And also follow me on Twitter at Craig Chamberlain or at PC Michiana. And you can also like on Facebook as well. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you stay tuned. There's plenty more videos to come.